every day is we uh, sit for five minutes in the, in the classroom and we ins invite the sound of bells to sound like this. And then we just uh, sit quietly. Uh, this is not a vacation for your mind for five minutes every day to feel recharged, refreshed. And then after the five minutes meditation, this class is no electronic devices. And then we talk about different issues uh, related to mindful leadership, uh, different issues around the world, but basically to uh, help them become a better student, uh, help them become a be better themselves. Well, I believe that uh, everyone have the, the right, this is the basic human right, is uh, the, uh, the right to be sheltered, to be loved, to be cared. And we feel like um, we don't have enough um, those kind of selective classes in the high school, in the high school classroom. We need to become a, a, a movement and a practice so that they can become a better student. The students who take the classes are more likely to less absence. They do better in other classes and their GPA is higher compared to the one who, who did not. They have so much going on with their life um, and there's so much distraction and mindfulness, they help them f refocus they help them awareness and cultivate more understanding, more, more compassion, and they be able to take care of them and take care of other people. And the best way, just like um, Kung Fu Panda, they say, yesterday is history, tomorrow mystery, and today is the gift. And so the best way to take care of the future, take care of care of this present moment, the here and the now, that what they have. And the best way to take care of other people is to take care of themselves. So all of the, the peace in the world start with their inner peace. So mindfulness help them cultivate that peace in them, the awareness and understanding and compassion. Well, they are my joys. Uh, as a teacher, I recognize their happiness is my happiness. Their success is my success. And when they uh, fail, when they're suffering, it's also my fail too and my, my suffering as well. So we as a teachers, we teach for the outcome, not for the income. And, and that's in the mentality, right? When they're at peace, I'm at peace.